Hello and welcome back to Luma. So give me a second here. I'm doing this porky thing. And we're doing that because we are talking about AR today because that's actually one of the most underrated features of Wizards Unite. Everybody has been talking about fortresses, professions, and etc. But nobody seems to care that much about the AR features of Wizards Unite. And that's really sad because this game's AR, it's actually better than the one that Pokemon Go has. It has better AR features. The AR photo mode is more complex and you can actually use AR to make some kind of ministry ID. And I love how they use AR in this game. You might not know it, you might not even notice that you're using AR, but you are. I mean, just doing this, stepping into a portal and going to another world, it's, it's really neat. And I wish more games have done this. I mean, there's a bee, there's a bee. Holy fish, please don't sting me. So yeah, like I said, so you can use AR in port keys and you can also use it in fortresses. There is an AR on and off mode. I actually like using the AR in this game because it makes you more immersed, especially in my videos. If I can, I try to turn on the AR mode. But today, we're going to talk about the other AR feature, the one that you can actually use if you go to the registry can actually use the AR photo mode for a bunch of foundables. Unfortunately, you can't do that with every foundable. You can do only do it in select foundables, but maybe, I hope, they would change that in the future. Just goes like this. You're just going to scan it, and then you choose where you want your foundable to appear. And right now, you can see Hagrid, he's super big and Fortunately, I can shrink him down, maybe even move him. Yeah, with Pokemon Go, you can't do this. You can go around the model 360. So that's great, especially when you're trying to compose some kind of scene. And I'm doing this because apparently you will get retweeted by Niantic or the main Harry Potter Wizards Unite Twitter account if you post a bunch of AR photos. So let's try to do that. So all you have to do to use the photo mode is choose a compatible foundable. In this case, I am going to use a moon path. They are adorable. You would find a camera icon in the side right here so that you know if the foundable is compatible or not. Next up, you have to scan your environments and after it scans it, you're going to have to tap to place the moon calf in the real world. So let me just do that real quick. Awesome. It's so cute. I'm going to try to use portrait mode with this one. Oh, that's perfect. After you're done taking a photo, you can press to delete it, to download it, or to share it. But for right now, I'm going to download it. Unfortunately, this, there's some kind of bug where you have to press delete first before it goes back to the AR mode again yeah <laughs> yeah I think that's a great shot but let me try to get a better shot of this moon calf all right that's it I think I got some great shots out of that session but yeah, that, those are just the basics. So if you want to take a photo of a unsupported, uncompatible foundable, all you have to do is just take a picture during an encounter. So let's try to do that. Okay, so this is actually a good scene right here. Let me just back up a little bit. Maybe turn it sideways. No, turning it sideways would make the image look weird. You have to take a screenshot when there is no text. There we go. Pretty good right there. That's pretty good. You just crop that and then edit it in whichever editing program that you use. Okay, so right now I have found this good 
found the bowl. Let me just choose a seat right here. Okay, that's good. So this one, it's not supported, but I can take a photo of it like this. See? All you have to do is take a screenshot. <laughs> that looks good. Let's do another one. There we go. Those are actually pretty good. All you have to do is to just crop these up and then you're good. You can also take pictures of the foundable after you're done returning it. So they usually do some kind of cute pose in the end before they disapparate. And you can take a photo of that right now. Like, like this. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's just crop the status icons right here. The menu bar right here. And that looks awesome. Save the photos. Yes, that's it. Oh, sorry. It's a bit dark. It suddenly went dark. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try going around this place again looking for awesome foundables and i'm gonna share to you guys what i got because you can actually get some pretty cool stuff with the ar photo let's go And I think that's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you ever do take AR pictures of Foundables and Wizards Unite, show me. Tag me in your photos. And uh, yeah, I like seeing AR photos from Wizards Unite. I would post these pictures in uh, Instagram. You can follow me there. It's at the same handle, at the SylphYT. So yeah, we just edit these and it will all be good. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get creative with your photos and that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.